Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. A couple days ago I made a video stating that the ATF was looking to reclassify pistol braces. They were going to investigate to see if in fact a AR pistol brace would fall under the NFA regulations and many people in the gun world, many people who own these braces were very much upset, disturbed that the ATF would take a legal product and then all of a sudden make it under the NFA, highly regulated, where you would have to apply. They said they would waive the $200 fee to get all of us to join in with this reclassification of pistol braces. And instead, we fought back and we said, no way, this is completely illegal for the ATF to overstep their boundaries. They don't make laws. And they opened comments for the citizens starting December 18th. And many of you, the YouTube channels that you follow, I made videos. We said this is wrong and this is why we should all comment. And I put my comment in uh, just last night. It was rather long. It was very respectful. But I clearly stated my opposition with reclassifying pistol braces and increasing regulations in the firearm world is never a good thing. There is no gun law that is going to make you safer. It's the hard truth. But the ATF just today withdrew that. They withdrew it entirely. Uh, what happened was there was uh, initially 22,000 comments, which was rather low. But overnight, like a, a day later, there was next thing you know, there was 51, then 51,000 and more and more and more. And people really got involved. Now, if you recall a couple years ago when they wanted to uh, ban certain types of ammunition, the ATF opened citizens' comments as well, and there were 80,000 comments, and they said, you know what, we withdraw this as well. Well, here, in only a couple days, there was over 50,000 comments, and probably more, but they already withdrew. ATF is withdrawing. Pending further Department of Justice review, the notice and request for comments entitled Objective Factors for Classifying weapons with stabilizing braces was published on December 18th. So they withdrew it. They basically said, we're not going to do what we initially said we were going to do in the document. And that was take a serious look at pistol braces. And many people commented back, said, does, is, is it really going to make a difference? Does it matter what we think? You know, they're going to do what they're going to do. And I, I agree with that. But, you know, a couple years ago, they said we're going to ban armor piercing ammo specifically the green tip and there was a lot of people commenting saying no way we don't buy into this and the same thing happened now and when you see people in mass numbers unite together for one purpose and they probably didn't expect the amount of people commenting who took time out of their day to comment and say no way this is not this is not good with me and this is why in a respectful manner, it made a difference. And I have to believe that they took into consideration in their document, they wrote that most people who use the pistol braces do so in good faith. Somebody in the department put two and two together and said, you know, we're really trying to create a problem or a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Maybe we should just let this go and see what happens. This is certainly not the end of it. Like this is only most likely the beginning of the fight. I don't consider this a victory. I consider it a draw. We didn't gain anything, but we certainly don't have to worry about, as of now, losing our pistol braces or at least having them reclassified, which would require regulation. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.